Hello my dear students, today's topic is about the Kirchhoff's law. This is a very very important topic of current electricity. Why you have to study that Kirchhoff's law? Because if we want to find the current through the resistance like this, then we have to apply the Kirchhoff's law. In current electricity chapter, you will face so many problems by applying the Kirchhoff's law. You can easily find out the value of current flows through the resistance. Okay. Before starting the Kirchhoff's law, you have to learn some topics. First topic is the electric network. What is the electric network? See, here I have given one circuit where the resistance, so many resistance are there and the, so many cells are there also. This type of circuit is called the electric network where the number of resistance is more than 2 or 3 or 4, 5, whatever. Next is the junction. What is the junction? When two or more conductors meet, then that is called the junction. Here this is also junction, this is junction, this is junction like that. Otherwise, if you take three conductors, suppose these are the conductors, then this is called the junction where two or more conductors meet. Next, loop. Loop means here in this circuit, this is one loop. This is another loop. This is also another loop. This is closed circuit. This is this closed circuit is called the loop. Next branch. What is the branch? Branch means if we consider this direction and this direction, this is called one branch and this is called also one branch. Okay. These are two branches. If, if we come over here, this is one branch. This is one branch. This is also another branch. Okay. These are called the branch. Now, there are two laws. First law is known as KCL. And second law is known as KVL. What is KCL? means Kirchhoff's current law and Kirchhoff's voltage law. So, start from the KCL. Okay. Kirchhoff's current law. What is the law? See, first KCL. The law is summation of I equals to 0. What is summation of I? Means the KCL is the sum of the algebraic sum of the currents at any junction. Suppose I am taking three conductors like this. This is called the junction. So the algebraic sum means if we take this is 5 ampere, this is 4 ampere. So the current will be 9 ampere means here the algebraic sum of the current is 0 means what is the meaning see if we consider this is this inward current is positive take inward current positive and outgoing or incoming or outgoing or outward that's why i am writing over here inward incoming and outgoing this will this will be better incoming plus and outgoing will be minus. Now look, summation of I when this is incoming current, so plus 5, this is incoming current, 4, this is outgoing current, minus 9, that will be 0. And so we can say that summation of I equals to 0 or I1 plus I2 minus I3 will be 0, where I3 is the outgoing current. Clear? This is the first law. Means the algebraic sum of the at, at any junction is the zero. Algebraic sum of the current at any junction is the zero. This KCL based on the principle of conservation of charge. What is conservation of charge? Why? Because at any time at the suppose you take one time interval, how many charges entering to the junction at the same time interval, same amount of charge is leaving from that junction. That's why we are getting 9 ampere. So this KCL based on the principle of the conservation of charge. No charge can accumulate or originate. That's why you can say this KCL based on the principle of conservation of charge. Next, the KVL means Kirchhoff's voltage law. What is the law? The algebraic sum of the change in potential is zero in a closed loop. 
in a that is important in a closed loop of a network of electrical network now what is the meaning of this suppose if we take one closed loop like this then the total potential of that closed loop will be zero means summation of del v equals to zero that i will explain by the numerical also now see one thing that depends on the path that's why some nodes or some points you have to remember that i am coming some important points you have to remember to apply the kirchhoff's law first point is to choose closed loop okay second point is the direction may be anti clockwise or clockwise okay second no third in case of battery suppose in case of battery if the path is clockwise suppose this is the path if the path this is clockwise path clockwise path then means we are going from plus to minus that time del v will be minus if you take the path anti clockwise when this is anti clockwise so minus to plus means del v will be plus clear one thing i'll tell i have taken here when the path is clockwise means from plus to minus then i have taken here minus and it is plus you can take this is plus this is minus also then you have to take this is plus this is minus i have taken like this and i will apply the this principle in the numericals if you take like that means plus minus plus minus then this uh, terms or and this sign you will apply in the numericals whatever okay understood took one problem which came in iic 2016 2008 here the question is given in this electric network find well the value of i1 and i2 this is i1 i1 and i2 to solve the value of current first one thing you keep that in your mind here that that only given but one thing you will remember when the current is leaving i1 means as the current i1 is leaving from here so the current will enter into the negative terminal this will be also i1 and here this will be also i2 okay that keep that in your mind now give the name loop 1 loop 2 that is closed that is also closed so i am taking the path like this like this clockwise you can take anti clockwise also or both also you can take first one i will apply in loop 1 apply the kvl means del v will be zero summation of del v will be zero so from here i am going this is the path and going from minus to plus when minus to plus that will be plus so plus 2 volt summation of del v equals to 0 okay now come over here see here from here it is coming i1 i2 so this will be i1 plus i2 clear so i1 plus i2 is going through the 2 ohm resistor so direction of current and the path is same so minus 2 into i1 plus i2 v equals to i r i into r next path of the current and the direction of current it is same so same same means minus minus i1 into 1 means i1 equals to 0 so from here we can write that is minus 2 i1 minus i1 minus 3 i1 minus 2 i2 equals to minus 2 so which is 3 i1 plus 2 i2 equals to 2 equation number 1 now in loop 2 look path and the direction of current opposite direction of current this is the path like this we are going so when it is different that then plus plus 2 into i1 plus i2 now come over here plus to minus path i mean plus to minus plus to minus means this will be minus minus 3 from here again see path and the direction of current opposite path direction of current opposite means plus this will be 6 i2 which will be 
Same here, six i two, two i two means eight i two. Eight i two plus two i one equals to three. Clear? Which is equation number two. Now solve it. Here three i one, two i one is there. So first to do one thing. It is i two, eight i two. So multiply by four. Multiply by four. Then it will come four into two, eight i two. Plus four into three, twelve i one equals to four into two eight, which is equation number three. Now minus minus minus, it will cancel. So minus twelve plus two minus ten i one equals to minus eight plus three minus five. Means i one will be five by ten, which will come zero point five ampere. Okay, clear. Now. To find the value of I two, here I am finding. See, I one is given here, so three into point five plus two into I two equals to two. So it is one point five plus two I two equals to two. So two I two equals to two minus one point five, which is point five. So I two will be zero point two five ampere. Clear. This is how we can calculate the value of current through the resistor, or the value of current I1 and I2. And one thing again, I am telling: if the current is leaving I1, so same current will come to the negative terminal. Keep that in your mind. One next problem I have chosen here: we find the question is find I1, I2, and I3. Before that, I want to say one trick. See if you See, the current is coming negative. That does not mean it is wrong. The current is negative means the direction means the direction whatever you have taken, the actual direction is the opposite. Clear? See one thing. If the I two comes negative, means the current is flowing in this direction. Remember this one. Okay. Now start the problem. Here. Choose the loop one and two. Okay. So, in loop one, take the direction. First point was choose the loop. Second direction. Then apply KVL or KCL. Now from here we can write C. This is also I three. So all are entering. So apply KCL. We can write I one plus I two plus I three, which will be equals to zero because. Summation of I equals to zero. Here, in the first loop, in loop one, apply KVL. Here, we are going from mean the direction of current and the path is opposite, so that will be plus two I two. Okay, two I two. This is two I two. Again, going from plus to minus, minus. This will be minus four. Again, minus to plus part like this. Minus to plus plus ten. Again, see the current is I one. So in the direction means minus one into I one. So this will be I one. B equals to I R. So I into R means one. That's why I one. So we got two two I two minus I one will be. Six, so it will be minus six. Now we can write I one minus two I two will be six. Now in loop two, apply KVL, going from opposite direction means path and the direction of current opposite. So that will be plus. This will be I three one into I three I three going from plus to minus means minus that will be minus thirteen. Okay. Now minus to plus plus four. Again, in the direction of current. Now it will be minus two into I two, which will be zero. From here we can write. See, two I two, no I three minus two I two equals to minus thirteen plus four, which will come minus nine. So it will be plus nine. So I three minus two I two will be plus nine. Here we can write. That value of I three equals to minus I one plus I two. 
So I will put over here. So I am erasing it. So the calculation will be I3 means minus I1 plus I2. Okay. Minus 2I2 equals to 9. Clear? So it will come. So give the equation number which is equation 1. That is equation 2. And this will be equation 3. So minus I1 minus I2 minus 2I2 equals to 9. So this will be 2 minus 2I2 minus I2 minus 3I2 minus I1 equals to 9. So I1 plus 3I2 will be minus 9. Clear? Here minus I1 which is equation 3. I1 minus 2I2 will be 6. So minus plus minus they will cancel. So 5I2 equals to minus 10 minus 6 minus 15. So I2 will come minus 3 ampere. That I am trying to say. This I2 is coming minus 3. That means the direction will be opposite whatever it is given. Here. If the direction is given that is I2 in the quotient but the actual direction will be opposite. That's why the minus came over here. Now to find the value of I1 and I2 put the value I2 came so I3 we can got from here so I3 will be 3 into 2 so 9 this will be minus 6 no, sorry minus 3 minus 2 plus 6 so minus 9 minus 6 this will be 3 ampere and if I3 equals to 3 ampere so what will be the value of I1 so I1 will be minus I2 means minus minus plus 3 ampere minus I3 minus 3 ampere which will be 0 means the value of I1 will be 0 and I3 will be 3 I2 will be minus 3 this is how you have to calculate the value of current flows through the register now one problem I took from NCRT question is find the current in each branch means this branch this branch or this branch also how much current is flowing so to solve the circuit first you take the current I is flowing means I is coming from 10 volt ok now consider I1 is flowing through 4 ohm so how much current will flow through 4 ohm this 4 ohm I minus I1 here one thing I told if the current is leaving from this 10 volt battery is I so this current will enter also I ok now I minus I1 is going from here you consider I3 is coming so I1 I3 means it will be how much I1 plus I3 up to this clear now here see I1 plus I3 and here I3 is going over here so how much current will come over here here it is I1 plus I3 minus I because I is leaving now here that will be how much I3 because I3 is going means I3 will come over here from plus I3 is going ok now see if we apply the KCL over here it will come 0 what I told at the junction the net current means sum of I will be 0 now look here if we apply I1 plus I3 minus I entering entering that is outgoing so plus I minus I1 minus I3 because that is outgoing now look I1 I1 cancel I3 I3 cancel I I cancel which is 0 means summation of I is 0 so my consideration is correct now apply the KVL loop 1 this is loop 2 this is loop 3 so take the path like this you can take the this path means anti-clockwise path also now in loop 1 ok look this path and the current is in same direction so that will be minus so minus I because here it is 1 into I means I del V will be 0 summation of del V will be 0 now again see here minus 2 plus minus 2 plus means plus plus 10 
here again in the direction means minus 4 into i1 now again same direction so 2 into same direction means minus 2 into i1 plus i3 which will equals to 0 clear now here we can get that minus i plus as your 10 minus minus 4 i1 minus 2 1 so 6 i1 minus 2 i3 equals to 0 equals a number 1 come over here look look 2 ok direction opposite path and the direction of current is opposite that's why plus so how much current is flowing 4 into i minus i1 ok again plus 2 minus minus 10 volt again opposite opposite means plus plus i again here it is in the direction in the direction means plus or minus in the direction minus so they are same direction so 2 into i1 plus i3 minus i which will be 0 clear solve it it will come 4i plus i 5i minus 4i1 minus 2i1 minus 6i1 ok now here it is minus 2i3 4i plus i 5i and one more i is there plus 2i also there plus 2i so equals to 10 i can write now from here i can write this is 5 uh, 2i and 5i so 7i i am writing over here 7i ok this is equals to 10 this is equation number 2 and from here we can write that is minus 10 also minus 10 clear now come to the third loop loop 3 see this direction again opposite start from here you can start from there also to start from here now here it is going from means plus uh, opposite direction opposite direction means that will be that will be minus no, opposite direction opposite direction plus so plus 2 into i1 plus i3 minus i now again here opposite direction plus 2 into i1 plus i3 again plus 2 minus minus 5 will be 0 clear solve it it will come 2i1 2i1 4i1 plus 2i3 2i3 4i3 ok minus 2i equals to 5 equation number 3 that 3 equation we got now see you have to solve it how you solve if you take i1 i3 now that 3 equation i am writing over here because the space is very short see this equation we can write that i plus 6 i1 plus 2 i3 which will be 10 and here 7 i minus 6 i1 minus 2 i3 which will be also 10 now this is equation 1 this is equation 2 so from here we can write look we can find out the value of i because 2 i3 2 i3 and 6 i1 6 i1 cancel so 8 i will be 20 so i will be 20 by 8 20 by 8 means it will come near about 4 10 2 5 5 by 2 which is 2.5 ampere ok put the value of i over here see it will come a minus 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 is there here also minus so we can neglect the minus also so it will come 6 i1 plus 2 i3 see 10 was there here 2.5 was there so 10 minus 2.5 which is 7.5 now take the, this equation so 4 i1 plus 4 i3 equals to see 2 into 2.5 how much 5 so minus was there 5 plus 5 which will be 10 clear 
so from here we can write if we multiply it by or uh, 2i3 is there so 4 we have to do so multiplied by 2 let's give equation number 3 equation number 4 then 3 into 2 it will come 12i1 plus 4i3 which is 7.5 into 2 which will come 15 and here 4i1 plus 4i3 which is equals to 10 then minus 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 cancel so 12 minus 4 8 i1 equals to 5 so i1 equals to you will get 5 by 8 ampere okay now only i3 is left so i will use this equation now look so value of i1 is 5 by 8 so 4 into 5 by 8 plus 4 i3 minus 2 i 2 into 2.5 so it will be minus 5 equals to 5 now it will be 2 so 5 by 2 plus 4 i 3 which will be 10 and 4 i 3 will be 10 minus 5 by 2 which is 20 minus 5 divided by 2 means 15 by 2 so i 3 will be 15 by 8 okay clear so 15 by 8 ampere so we got all the values i3 i and i1 and i so by using these three values we can easily find out the value of current through each branch okay i hope all the concepts are clear about this teacher's law if you want to ask anything you can ask through the comment box okay so today's class up to this stay home stay safe thank you